My Temple by Jesse Selber I wake with a weird feeling in my gut. A remnant of dreams unremembered and a vague anxiety about past and future decisions. I get to the mirror and peer through the dusty reflection. He is not much different from the person I knew in college. Not quite boy, not quite man, a little neater, a little more balanced. I tuck out the skin of my cheek, less creative or just more obligated. I wonder as I put myself together for the day. My morning routine has slipped into ritual. I cinch the knot of my tie up to the neck, slide my beeper between the leather thongs of my suspenders and pass the stethoscope gently over my head to rest on my shoulders. I glance over at the self-portrait I began the night before, then to my guitar leaning up against the wall, and once more into the dusty mirror. The various compartments of my person bulge and recede in my own mind. I strain to align them, but soon resign to a cup of coffee and the peaceful veil of introspection that drapes the precious space between waking and work. The drive to work, perhaps my finest hour. Never am I so completely myself as the hot coffee sloshes over my cold hands and the radio blasts something trying to be music. As I pull into park, the final calibrations are made for my role as a medical student the proper degree of sanctimony, the edge taken out of my voice, the willingness to accept. I step into these vestments, not so much as a mask of surrender, as a badge of honor. Although depending on the day, it may be more the former. The morning passes easily mostly upper respiratory infections. The decisions are few, otitis or no, sinusitis or no. Does suspicion warrant a strep test? I find interest in these mundane events in the interstices. I read the subtext and listen to words unspoken then there is the complicated patient. Columns of data and human emotions jump back and forth from foreground to background, like school children vying for a teacher's attention. I do what I can with it all. Finally, the day draws to a close. The last patient waves goodbye and I sink back into my desk chair to finish a few notes. A contentment settles over me as I scan the desk for the previous patient's chart. My eyes land on a title in an open newsweek. World's religious espouse, quieting the mind to hear the soul's voice. I read on. And in all these doctrines, separated by ice ages, languages, and millennia, the inner voice urges followers to act with compassion. I grin bitterly at how little I believe in the sorts of ideas 
for which people pray in churches and synagogues. In spite of this godlessness, I do hear the voice of compassion. It asks me to touch patients gently, speak to them softly, and listen attentively. Perhaps I know how to pray after all. And perhaps I have also found my temple. Today we read My Temple by Jesse Selber. Next we will begin chapter two, listening and touching. Thank you for tuning into the book club. Mm-hmm.